If your PC cannot run Windows 11, don't worry. I've got something new for you. This little tool can upgrade your current Windows 10 to Windows 11 if your PC doesn't meet the upgrade requirement. So, we don't need a USB, we don't need a bootmaker software or no extra setup. Just we need a simple tool. Before proceeding, make sure you have like and subscribe ITPK and let's get started. Okay, now I am on Windows 10 PC. First, let's go ahead and confirm the requirement. Please go ahead and download PC Health Check app. I will mention this download URL in the video description. Once downloaded, just go ahead and install this. This will take only a few seconds to get installed on your Windows 10 computer. Click on Finish. Now here, just go ahead and click on Check Now. Here we could see that our Windows 10 computer doesn't meet the requirement to upgrade to Windows 11. The next important thing we want to download is go to your browser and type download Windows 11 official ISO. I will also mention this official link in the video description. So don't worry about that. Okay, now here scroll down. And you will find the option download windows 11 disk image iso just go ahead select windows 11 multi edition click confirm now just go ahead and choose the language again click confirm now we are ready to download the latest official windows 11 iso so from here let me pause the video because once this iso will be downloaded we will customize it for our windows 11 installation Okay, once your latest Windows 11 ISO downloaded, now let's go ahead and download FlyOB from the GitHub page. Scroll down and here we could see that the latest version is 1.41 that is updated 3 hours ago. Let's go ahead and download the latest one. And here in the features you could see that Windows 10 to 11 upgrades, full OOBE customization, tweaks and deblot tools and scriptable setup extension perfect for now we will go with windows 10 to 11 upgrades let's go ahead and open the folder here i want to right click on it and select extract all now here please go ahead right click on flyob tool and run as administrator click yes now here let's go to the first option that is get windows 11 if still you haven't downloaded Microsoft official ISO for Windows 11, you could just go ahead and click on download button. This will take you again to the official website. As I have already downloaded the ISO, I could just go ahead and select my ISO from the download folder. Here you go. Once I selected the ISO, I can see here that Windows 11 installation could be proceed now. I want to uncheck this option and this setup will go through and install required update and drivers into your computer. So if you want to change how setup will download drivers or optional feature, if you don't want it, just select not right now and click next. So it depends upon you if you want to wait here or proceed. I want to skip the wait for now, that's why I proceed with next. Just go ahead and accept the license and all the agreements. We want to keep all the files, settings and apps into my computer. Next. Now this may take few minutes that will make sure my Windows 10 computer is ready to install Windows 11. Okay, I can see that I am ready to install Windows 11 Pro. I want to keep the file setting and apps. If you still want to change any settings, just go to change what to keep. As I am ready to install, I will proceed with install option. And here, this is installing Windows 11 on my unsupported Windows 10 PC. And my PC will restart several times. That's perfect. So I think it was better to download the official Windows 11 ISO file before this flyob tool process because this is installing our windows 11 locally not downloading from the internet okay after 20 minutes my pc has restarted and now it's working on the update so here you still have to wait and keep your computer on all right we got the same username let's log in 
to make sure things are still the same in Windows 11 or we lost anything. Alright, now I just get into Windows 11 on my Windows 10 unsupported PC. Let's go ahead and confirm few things. Let's go to download and confirm if our files are still there. That's perfect. Now here, let's type about your PC. And here you could see that we have 2 gigs of RAM and our PC was not supporting the TPM as well. And here we got the latest Windows 11 installed. That's great. And at the end, I warn you to make sure that everything can be bypassed except the storage. Your PC must have 65 to 70 gigs of storage for your C drive or for your Windows drive, you can say. So that's it about today's quick video how to upgrade your Windows 10 unsupported PC to Windows 11 without USB or any extra bootmaker software. So we have just downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file and then we have downloaded the FlyOB and then we have installed our Windows 11 using the FlyOB, the free software that we have downloaded from the GitHub. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like ITPK and I will see you in the next one.